Hello, fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel. Welcome to another episode of q and I play the game, also talk about what's happening with games, some of the questions that you've asked and so on. And I uh, hope you have a chance to log in to this weekend because there is a random uh, hero box as well as a random costume box. Uh, I'm going to open this towards the end of this video. And I'm quite excited to... Well, I mean, I've got all the heroes, but uh, I'm quite excited to see what kind of costume I've got uh, in this box. And yeah, so today I'll continue talking a little bit about the uh, the blessing changes as well. And also, there's been a lot of discussion in the forum, also within my friends, asking like, you know, is this game really growing or dying kind of thing. So I'd like to talk a little bit about that as well. And the uh, I think before I had there just a um, uh, this is not really a news if you pay attention to what's happening in the uh, forum. But uh, our, our friend Ryan is uh, moving on from Gazillion. Uh, really big thank you for him as a commun community manager. And also, I believe he, he, he looked after the content as well. And some of, he championed some of the uh, heroes and, and uh, what should be in the voiceover and so on and so forth. Uh, some of the content. So, you know, really, he's a big fan of Marvel. And it's rather sad to see anybody whom, uh, especially for Ryan, uh, we, I think a lot of us know him, uh, know his face when, when, when some of this like, video on Marvel heroes. He's always there, the very, um, very appro approachable, fun guy that I always, you know, and we, you know, kind of like imagine him to be whenever I think about Marvel heroes. So yeah, I mean, really thank you, Ryan, for all the, all the great job that you've done. And I think uh, it has not been easy for him as well after Doomsaw left, uh, he has to take over the whole entire communication and vision and so on and so forth and it is rather very very taxing um, and the game has gone through a different kind of like um, change as well but the good news is uh, Art of Raw is uh, coming back in and he's one of the uh, very 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 good designer I've, I've known in the past and I was really sad that um, you know he, he left uh, a while back when, when he announced that he's leaving so I was like he was leaving and I was like uh, really not that happy about it but I'm very happy that he's back and he has a lot of very very unique design as well Punisher was his last piece of work uh, if, I, if I remember correctly alright and the uh, so I'm not going to go through another video again when they sort of like buff the Odin a little bit so I, I presume Odin blessing will be buffed by another 3% against boss so um, my last video on the blessing change is still relevant, um, and the, uh, so I just would like to recap for those who may not have time to go through my last video on what the blessing change is supposed to be. The Hella is really um, uh, one of the most discussed cards. Everybody wants Hella to be gone, and guess what? You guys wanted it so much that it is really gone. Uh, I I really do not see any opportunity whereby I should use a Hella unless I can't figure out if a hero should be pure melee or pure range because um, because like for instance uh, Blade the the vampire I play him both as a melee and as a range War Machine as well both as a melee and a range so situation like that um, I I probably would leaning towards the Hella but um, but other than that, it's very, very rare that I would think of any, any hero with a Hela. So diversity build is a little bit, uh, or from a blessing perspective, diversity build meaning that you have to take one offensive, one defensive, one utility, and then you can take the Odin. They have plus one attribute to all, um, all, all attribute, plus one to all attributes. So uh, that ha has been bumped a little bit, but again, it's very situational because it is against boss, uh, the 3%. So if you're not hitting against boss, you are not that, um, you know, you can't really benefit from that 3%. Uh, 3%, yes, 3%. Um, and then after that, uh, so the, the conclusion is still the same. Hogan and Loki are the king. Uh, pure, pure, pure type are the king, meaning that if you do pure melee or pure range, uh, it's very good for you. Uh, good news, good news. And the other, otherwise, you take a kind of like a, like a dip in your performance output, uh, 2% to... 4%, uh, depending on where you are in the spectrum. So if you are the type who like to not quite sure which way to go and you say, okay, I'll go for, I'll go for one Hela, one Defensive, and one Utility, and one Odin. And you are actually about 4% uh, down. Now, 4% to a lot of people say, well, 4% is not a lot, but let me just remind you something, right? Um, the You pay 300 Odin mark for Grade 70 Legendary. You pay additional 700 Odin mark for an additional 7% uh, performance using a great 80 legendary so uh, 4% is not trivial 4% is a 
is rather big. If you think about the kind of like in, in the improve from the uh, from from the grade seventy to grade eighty, four percent is like half of the journey. So just saying, uh, something to think about. Um, so I, I've done some inventory kind of thing, but uh, I think another thing I'd like to also show to you, uh, work in progress, but I thought uh, give you guys some thought before uh, before I, uh, I create another video, it will, be, it will be a little bit more easier to digest, but I will just give you the uh, conclusion. But a lot of you probably like this channel because there's a lot of details inside and, and so on. So now, uh, damage reduction model has been revamped uh, quite a while ago, the defense deflect dodge. Now I'm not going to go through that again. There's a video on the uh, how to make your hero stronger uh, with the with understanding all this uh, stat. But all this stat will have a contribution to total uh, reduction. So there are always two KPI or key performance indicator I see when I look into the defense rating side is that uh, one is on the uh, overall effective speaking. So you know, like for every hundred unit of damage coming on to you effectively you can mitigate through dodge defect and defense uh, a bit of chance here and there but uh, then you effectively say effectively say okay i can do like 54.45 percent uh that is that is um, you know i've mitigated for quite a fair, fair bit of damage like for the uh for for the 45 point uh, something percentage and the uh but then like i always say i always look into uh spike damage so this one when all fails so when you cannot dodge when you cannot deflect which is kind of uh you you, you got your chance is actually uh quite high if like for instance if you look at captain america with no def uh, well if i don't do a defense on him i'm looking at uh i, I can i can dodge 0.8 percent of chance meaning that it's quite never happened uh i can deflect 15 percent of chance so so that would mean that 85% of time, I would have to eat the entire damage of this whole thing when all fails. So that's why I always, always treasure this, that instead of this one is what the, I think Marvel Heroes, the game will tell you effectively your health is as such. It's a good indicator, but that's not the only one. What kills a hero usually is a spike. Um, but however, if you find that yourself, even trash mob can kill you, then I think, yeah, we do have some problem there. But uh, usually it's just a spike. If you look at uh, how many times a hero dies, I think it's most likely during the boss fight or mini boss fight in a cosmic uh, danger room um, or some of the harder content. And that is because you couldn't take the kind of spike. You couldn't dodge, couldn't, couldn't uh, deflect, which kind of high percentage and, the, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, the reason why I built this, oh, by the way, this is a benchmark. So you know, the current ben benchmark is something I would like to improve. So for example, there are three blessing on the uh, defense, dodge and deflect kind of blessing on the uh, 1000 rating for you know, Elon, uh, one of them. So uh, it's for me to do what if. So what if I take the 1000 uh, defense rating? Now I'll see that, oh, I, I see that uh, overall speaking, I can mitigate another 3.4%, and but I can deal with the spike better, 3.9%. But you know, if, if, I, if I say I don't do this, uh, so 3.9, 3.4, I do this one, 3.9, 3.4. Now, of course, um, I would say, you can see that effectively I'm better because my dodge chance has gone up by 2.88%. So uh, for 2.88% of time when you can dodge, then you do, don't take any damage. Uh, but really, you can't count on this one to dodge a boss attack. You know, you can't. You just can't. So again, you, you look at to uh, you look, look into what the spike count of like. You know, am, am I uh, what? How, how do I? How well do I s handle spike damage? So it's like two point one percent versus before that it was uh, I think uh, hang on it's a three point nine percent. So uh, so this is how I always like uh, use it to kind of gauge where which of the blessing I would use if I want to go diversity. Now, why do I want to go diversity? Captain America is one of those who are, who are range, uh, unfortunately, range and uh, melee. So I can't really do both. Um, you know, I, I can't really do a pure melee or pure ranged. So I have to think through, do I want to go through that? If I do, do I want to take the uh, 1000 defense rating or 1000 um, you know, defense or dodge? Uh, all right. So like, if you look at side lock, for instance, um, uh, I would I would put one thousand into defense because uh, she's very low in defense. She's a dodge deflect heroes, and the uh, before that she will need to eat up uh, nine, it is sixty seven percent of the damage. Uh, you know, uh, the spike. So that's why many people ask, how come my silo is so fragile? Well, it's come as no surprise when because when all fails, you actually eat a lot of damage. Um, and how how often would that fail? Well, you know you. You add up these two together, eighteen percent. So close to eighty-two percent of the time, you will fail uh, in terms of dodge or, or deflect. You have to rely on this stat, which is the damage reduction 
from the defense, a bit of dodge, a bit of deflect to mitigate. Uh, so that's why, uh, you know, for silo, no brainer. If I want to go for the diversity build, which I probably will have to, then I'll look into uh, into a defense. Now, what, what about Spider Man? Now, Spider Man is in, interesting. Uh, Spider Man, uh, you you could actually go for. You you could actually say, well, intuitively, I say I have a high dodge, I have a high defense, so. Uh, because of the law of diminishing returns, so I go for a flat. So you could actually do a 1,000 flat and see what happened. Uh, 1.9 and 2, so roughly 2% each. So, but then after that, I say, well, what if I do deflat, uh, defense instead? So you see, 4.7, 4.3 is even better. So flat is rubbish. Like I always say, deflat is rubbish. Uh, dodge is, um, you know, depending on whether I can use, uh, use uh, dodge to convert into damage. So like in this case, dodge would be somewhat like, you know, 1.53%. Now this is also pretty rubbish, but because Spider-Man can convert dodge into damage rating, so I may consider using this one. And besides, his uh, damage reduction is pretty pretty good, so I wouldn't sweat too much about that. How about Black Widow? Now Black Widow, she is, uh, she is a uh, mix of uh, everything. Uh, I don't know why she's a mix of everything. Maybe it's the way that I built her. Uh, maybe I use some insignia. But in any case, uh, she has a pretty. Uh, she also received quite a fair bit of uh, damage income in as well because I think the other stat doesn't have the eight percent and so on. Uh, so, but uh, so that's why I uh, I probably would still go for the defense and go for three point eight, three point five. Um, so I get another additional four percent if I go for the pure. If I go for the diversity build, but for Black Widow though, I think I may force myself into a range build because I don't really play that much melee, may as well get the best out from, out from ranged. So that's why the new blessing uh, is very restrictive. I'm being, so I have to take side. As for Silver Server, it's very interesting because Silver Server move a lot. So um, unless you hold your EMF key, uh, a lot of time you don't really take a lot of damage, but uh, you, you can gain quite a fair bit with the 1000 uh, defense rating, which again, because my silver server does both range and melee, I believe. And the, uh, then too bad, uh, there, there's no pure range or pure melee kind of blessing. I feel kind of force myself to take one. And the, uh, I, I would not go through the, the next bit. It's a little bit too much, uh, too daunting for you. But what I've done effectively, you may have seen it. Last time I did the inventory because I only have 128 kind of like um, blessing. I need to know how to distribute across all the, uh, all the heroes I have. Uh, I do not have enough blessing for every hero. So I, what I've done is that I examine each one of them and I force myself into one particular build. So uh, no longer can I be a purist. I cannot say, well, Ant-Man doesn't really do all pure melee, but his majority is melee. He should do a Hogan blessing. And same as Black Cat and so on. Like Black Widow, I say, well, you know, maybe... Uh, uh, Black Widow, I could do both, but I say, well, let's keep it as a peer range. I just drop the whole entire melee build. So I play lesser of the hero because of this whole blessing. Again, it's not that ideal. Uh, then Blade Wise, because I like both both of his melee and, uh, and range, which is unfortunate. So I have to kind of like uh, take a side, which is I have to go for the generic one. Uh, meaning that I probably have to go for the uh, very, very unpopular Heller. The new Heller is is, uh, is really bad. So I, I saw a look, look through all them, and some of them will have like Captain America and um, Captain Marvel, both are having melee in range, but then my heart will probably tell me that uh, forget about all this like diversity, I will just go for the above the best of both world, uh, best, best of either world, which I will go melee. So any, any of those melee... Ha Melee range hybrid, I probably go for melee, which is Hogan, uh, which again is is very unfortunate because I, I hate to buff things that are I know that are not for the for my the best of my hero. So I'm just saying, and the uh, so in terms of, in terms of distribution wise, um, it's actually rather interesting. After I force uh, rank all my heroes into whether I should play as a range, whether I should play as a melee, or whether I have no choice but to play as a me melee range. And or you know a generic which is multi spec, uh, it come to the conclusion that uh, it's rather evenly spread out. Um, I have I have equal number of pure melee and equal number of pure ranged and an equal number of pure of hybrid melee range. So you know that kind of helped me to think a little bit more on what kind of blessing I would need and a bit of I probably need to reserve ten percent seven percent for the summoner as well as the uh, generic kind of multi spec build. But then after that I said to myself, well, okay, so you should just stop here uh, because you know this is what is useful to you. The next bit is not useful to you because it's my personal preference. My personal preference, I say, do I care about heroes? So some hero I care, like Ant-Man I care, uh, Black Cat I care, Black Panda I don't care. So I ran through all my heroes and say some I care, some I don't care, like, you know, Magneto, Moon Knight, I don't care. 
no offense though, I know that there's, there's a lot of fans out there, but I thought I care, I think I saw like somewhere in between like, well, I like, kind of like him as a classic brawler, but um, yeah. So after that, I kind of do a, do a count, of, uh, I realized that I don't really need that many melee um, um, uh, kind of like, I don't really have that many pure, near pure melee build and so on and so forth. But that's just for me to, to uh, just for me to, uh, to gauge on what kind of blessing I, I do and uh, let's play some games and uh, I think that's really enough of the blessing um, I like I always say I don't really like this uh, this whole design uh, it's just way too restricted it doesn't make sense uh, I hate things that doesn't make sense I enjoy things that make sense and the uh, like for instance if I if I use a uh, you know multi spec I sh Hela should be compatible it sh they should not just kill Hela for the sake of people hating Hela I mean Oh man, I mean, there are so many people who are very vocal in, in the whole entire forum, but um, I think it's rather too late. I, for one, love Hela. I love Hela. I love the current Hela because, you know, I, there's a lot of flexibility. I can, uh, I can arrange my build here and there. I don't need to be restrictive on what build to use, what build to not, and, the, uh, and so on. So, so, I mean, there's something that uh, I, I, I don't know, maybe just not enough people saying the same, saying the thing and then realize that it's gone and realize that wow you know uh, I can't do this I mean I uh, the fact that I will play lesser like um, you know I, I'll actually play uh, let's ultimate here man all right spider-man ultimate is always pretty decent uh, although it's not my, nothing much to see but I do like it so I mean uh, I, I do like the current uh, Hella, because I have a lot of flexibility. I can uh, I can do this. I can do that. I know that you no, know, with my Spider Man uh, Hella, I can do a Spider Man range like now or when I need to go raid, which is a melee. I don't need to think about uh, you know, am, am I using the best like uh, blessing for my hero and so on. So, but uh, in the new world, it will not be because a lot of you, uh, a lot of some of you, uh, I don't know, a lot of you ask for something more fun. Uh, but then I'm, I'm all for fun, so long as there is actually an option to be generic and it should not be penalized so heavily on that. And now uh, I'm playing the uh, range um, Spider-Man, so some of you actually say that Spider-Man is very fragile. Check out my video, there are three guys, one for melee, one for range and uh, another one for the movement build. None of them is fragile, man. Uh, Spider-Man is one of the very, very, very good heroes uh, that, um, that we have today. And yeah, I, I can't, I don't really understand. Um, maybe just, you know, may, may, maybe you expect him to face tank. And, and this game doesn't really have a lot of face tank opportunity, to be honest. Uh, you have got to, as the content getting higher a little bit, harder a little bit, you have got to uh, do a little bit of kiting, a little bit of awareness, like, you know, there's a naga around me, so I need to run around a little bit, kind of thing. But, um, but you know, Spider-Man, I know there's a lot of data hero these days, but the Spider-Man is not one of them. Uh, he's actually pretty strong, um, the way I see it. And the um, and so yeah, I mean, you know, since some of you asked me to play Spider-Man, I I I know I could play a uh, melee Spider-Man, but uh, you know sometimes I. I do like some relaxing gameplay. I don't really want to be too taxing all the time. So I think in the new world, when the new blessing come by, I will first rationalize myself, rationalize and said, I will probably go for, where's my Deadpool? Oh, right on top of me. Uh, I will probably go for range if I can choose because as the content getting harder, um, and the, uh, now I have to make a choice on my blessing. If, if, I, if I have a hero that can do both melee and ranged, uh, which one should I be getting? War Machine, melee or range? Blade, melee or range? You know, kind of thing. So I have to make a decision, uh, probably based upon the, um, the uh, you know, pure range, if I can. That's my first choice. Uh, also because, you know, survivability is also important. I value that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that is one thing. And the, uh, also in the new world, um, I would probably build some diversity um, as well, but not too much because I don't really think that there's a lot of like, you know, um, really profitability on, on that kind of thing. So, but uh, no, like I said, all these are subjected to change. I really, really hope, that, sincerely hope that they, they don't nerf the Hela so much. I mean, what is wrong? I mean, help me out here. Right? What is wrong with the Hela that is as good as today's? Uh, because we have a pure range and pure melee as good as today and all they need to do just for Hela to have more more uh, uh, Bluetooth strike rating that's all that's all it is uh, more of that and also maybe uh, more of the um, you know uh, Bluetooth damage rating if they really want to go that way 
But um, I would say you know, they don't have to penalize Hella just to please the crowd. You know? People don't hate Hella. People hate the fact that there is lack of choice. That's all, you know, Gazillion. If you know, just just think through that, Gazillion. I mean, you know, people don't hate Hella. You don't have to make Hella a, a victim just to just to make uh, make make yourself look great and say, well, you know, we've done our job already. We hurt the crowd. People don't like Hella. We we destroy Hella completely, uh, which should not be the case. Should never ever be the case. All right. So uh, that's all uh, from the blessing, and I was just uh, like, uh, very keen to hear what uh, is to come. And the, uh, a lot of hot topic these days uh, on in the forum saying that is uh, is this game dying or growing? You know, um, it's interesting because a lot of us who are playing this game, or at least I keep pause in what's happening. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. I know uh, when when there's a really good event like the Civil War, when there's a lot of new new player coming in because brand new heroes, and uh, when say there's an anniversary event, there are more people coming in unlocking heroes and so on. My channel, the page view will go up. I know that I'm the first person who, who will know. Uh, I, I don't have the statistic from Gazillion, but I know. And also I can see a Steam as well, who, now how many people are playing through Steam. So in short, I know, I know, like, you know, uh, have some idea on how well this game is doing uh, because of this. And the, uh, I have, to, I mean, it, I'm running a super group as well. How many of you are inside super group now? Well, I mean, five of us, right? Five of us here. Now, I during the anniversary event in this kind of timing, you know, um, which is about three p.m. Uh, my time, which is about midnight American time. In my in in the anniversary event, this whole this whole thing here, I fill up two pages to three pages, um, just to have people. And this is kind of like the low uh, low kind of like period. I mean, I do low season in the sense that this timing is not really that great for, for America because they are going to sleep and for Asian they are actually out there uh, watching movie and so on so um, I, this game right now is stagnant I would say uh, I, I will not like you know uh, I, I will not like uh, go play it in some sense just to give a positive message uh, I, I know right now there are many people who are playing and, the, uh, and I myself is not playing as well that much uh, reason why because you know, usually when we play a game, we, we look forward to something, right? Like, you know, oh, yeah, I mean, there's some, some good content out there. I need to farm something and so on. Now there's a lot of uncertainty. I don't even know uh, whether my gear uh, would be good enough or too good for the new um, content I come back to uh, difficulty level, right? Would that be too insane until I say, well, you know, uh, there's, there's no point in playing because it's just way too hard. Um, or... Uh, what kind of gears are we using? I mean, I can I can start to speculate and think, but then there are so many changes, so many things that are happening right now, um, like the blessing changes as well. I just want it to be done with and over with. No, blessing change is not new content. Nerving the blessing, nerving the hero synergy. These are not like uh, like like content at all. To me, these are just change tweaking that they should do ongoing. To me, the new content would be, right, um, say, a uh, new zone, new one-shot story, new terminal, uh, new story mode like the uh, like Last Time Danger Room as well, uh, revamp of certain, like, you know, uh, X-Defense or stuff like that. Those are new content. Updating a hero is a new content because when you update hero, when, when you do some balancing between hero, I may play that again. If you make Screw Girl awesome, I will play Screw Girl again. And that is the fundamental thing about content. Tweaking things like, you know, all this blessing change, will it help my screw girl? No, it doesn't. Will it help my Luke Cage to be wonderful and strong? No, it doesn't. It doesn't change the way. I mean, I play the heroes. I always, always say that. So, yeah, I mean, there's always, um, I think there's always a disconnect between, I, I know Gazette has put in a lot of effort, tremendous amount of effort. I mean, they, they come in the forum and defend each other, uh, each of the developer defend each other, which I think is rather, rather unnecessary because the thing is that, you know, you, you could, you could be very hardworking, but if you're not working for the right, right kind of like, um, not working to the right kind of uh, result, uh, people still not like it. I mean, there, there are many reasons people don't play a game. And, the, uh, and, and no matter how hard you, you try, or how hard you, you kind of make it work, if you're not doing the right thing, uh, people just play other things. Because there are many, many other, other nice games out there that have done it right. Um, so. You know, um, so I, I think, you know, no doubt, I don't want to belittle them. Uh, they have done a very, very good job, uh, Gazillion wise, in, in all this tuning and changing mechanic. And I, I no doubt it will mess up the whole entire 
balancing. But uh, how many of us really care about it? I don't know. I mean, all these things will become quite. Once you figure out what needs to be done, it's just another options out there. Uh, doesn't change the way I play the game. There's no new content. I think that is the uh, that's the bottom line of it. So I think after my next uh, ultimate, I'll probably uh, yeah. Uh, finish off this video. So yeah, I mean, thank you very much for all this uh, year of support in this channel. Um, I, I'm just waiting for the next, next big thing right now here. I wish there were something like a Doom Saw um, in, in the forum. Like last time, they would tell us a lot of like, you know, what is to come in very, very high level uh, vision on, on, the, on, on where the game is heading and so on. And sometimes it, it may not be uh, you know uh, some something that is could be somewhere in the very very far future, but a lot of us need that information uh, to to kind of like continue playing this game. And I know a lot of uh, quite a number of uh, developer actually come and um, kind of like uh, defend each other and say that well you know we have a lot of information around the forum, but you know not all of us have time to track every single purple post that has been out there. I mean I rather they just take a note somewhere and say that yeah this is the in, in mid term, in long term, this is what going to happen. And who is the Gazillion new boss again? I don't know. Uh, does he even play uh, this game? I also don't know. But anyway, and the uh, let's see what the next wave is. And I'll just like you know wrap up the whole thing um, and and what is to come and so on. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that the um, the whole blessing nerf and hero synergy nerf will come in in a very next um, in a very next kind of. Uh, um, you know, patch. So next week onwards, I think there will be some. You know, we'll probably hear a little bit more on what is to come and the uh, what is to be. Um, and the uh, so I think till the till the till the time, I'll, I'll probably and yeah. I mean, I, I think once that thing is out, and I hope they have uh, more time for us to exchange uh, blessing. If if at all, they should um, just make a permanent recipe. To, to allow us to do that but uh, as and when that happens and uh, I'll, I'll turn through the numbers for you guys again and for myself as well uh, not something I'll enjoy this time but uh, I'll just do it man uh, let me just do an ultimate here alright so that is a Spider-Man ultimate I always find that his ultimate is one of the strongest in the whole entire game alright done and yeah let me just pick up this thing and uh, let me just do one kingpin I haven't got any good loot uh, so far which is kind of like hmm it's interesting yeah, usually uh, I've got like in you know, an artifact or something like that um, with all the boost as well. There's a lot of boost right now. The event is on. Uh, I um, yeah, I mean I should have played a little bit harder during the cosmic event because I would have the um, a lot of very nice uh, uh, because it's double drop right in a cosmic kind of like you know petrol. But then I was more thinking like oh man, I mean what's the motivation of playing? I don't even know what the future is. I mean when all the nerf set in do. do does it really matter the gear anymore when everything become like, you know, uh, you know, you want to be more powerful. I don't know about you, man. I mean, I, I want to be more powerful. I don't want to be nerfed. Seriously. Who, who want to play uh, ARPG and getting nerfed while, while you, are, you are working so hard? So it is like this, right? Um, so the philosophy is always like, uh, they, they always try to, you know, get, get something out there. And then the, after that, they make the boss more powerful. Okay. I, I wasn't really, yeah. I was worried that you'll get one shot by Kingpin. That won't be very ideal. So yeah, I mean, we always want to get powerful, and and what happened usually is that um, when when we get more powerful, then they would um, they would buff the boss and enemy and so on. But uh, in this scenario, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, even having a thought that I'll be nerfed, I don't know how many percent, 20, 20 odd percent, because all the percentage base are gone. Uh, and even on crit as well. I mean, I'm just totally demotivated. Uh, demotivated. I mean. Wow, I mean, I worked so hard for many years, and you know, and, and get the ten thousand Omega point, and just to get nerfed uh, again. So I don't know why should I even play this game, man. Seriously, but I don't know. Do let me know in the comment box below uh, how how you what are you playing these days, and the uh, when and, and if you are not playing right now, Marvel Heroes, do you intend to come back after the nerf? Uh, so that's all from me. And as promised, I'm I'm going to open up my uh, my random heroes, and uh, there you go. Random hero is Punisher. Alright, and the costume is man war machine iron uh, Patrick. I think I oh this is rather nice one. Oh yeah, I think this is nice. I don't have the uh, let me just take a look at my war machine. What kind of uh, yeah? I don't have this uh, this costume. It looks really rather nice. Let me just show it to you all. 
in case you don't you guys don't know what is it and yeah it's an american whoa look at this man rather sharp huh yeah thank you gazillion this is what i want really likes nice man but now the bad news is i don't even know what kind of blessing i should give to the war machine man maybe the one with spirit anyhow see you next time goodbye